the One Audio Open Rock X aren't just your average open earbuds. They have something for rock lovers like me and something for design lovers like me. Namaste, we're DHRME. Namakedar. Honest. Reviewers. Mocha. Experts. All right, let's talk about the build and yeah. the design. Something unique here, eh? design lover. <laughs> kind of, because we were at CES, right, yeah. earlier this year, and they actually showed us these buds in different colors. There was actually a red that was in our short. Oh, Do you yeah, remember? That's right. Yeah. Oh, now I remember. But they're not available now because the ones that are available are these. And so what you're seeing is a gold white and a black color. So those are the only two that are available right now. And but let's be honest, mm -hmm. the eye catcher is really going to be that aluminium case. Yeah, for sure. It, it really makes an impression. And in it, a way, <laughs> yes, like, lightly put. <laughs> and it looks like it looks like a hard drive or a power bank almost because if you, uh, you know, collapse it into each other, then it looks like this with a carabiner clip at the top. Yeah. And we were wondering why a carabiner clip? Yeah, I was wondering that as well. I was like, and it didn't come like this out of the box, right? It came separately. And then it made a lot more sense because this is not something you can put in your pocket. No. Very few pockets can accommodate this. So. Yeah probably makes sense to clip it onto something like a backpack or a hook of some kind. Yeah. And to give you an example or to give you an idea on how thick this is, <laughs> we have the Shox Open Fit Air on the left side and uh, yeah, the power bank on the right, the Open Rock X. Now, if you just take a look at how these buds work, you have to kind of push that part in for it to lock. It kind of has this locking mechanism and yeah, you push it back up uh, and it, yeah reveals itself let's say it's very impressive at first try uh, there's also a tiny pairing button inside next to the usb k yeah the button you can see there and yeah it's a nice design i think there's a lot of wasted space to be very honest all right let's talk about the looks let's talk about the looks so we'd say the buds actually look quite classy because they've got a mix of plastic but also metal so you've got like a light rose gold kind of metal on the white one here and you've got silver on the black and I personally really like it it makes them look very premium yeah the branding that open rock on the buds is really in your face though like yeah not exactly needed and what I noticed because we just came together I had the white one you had the black yeah is that the black was really attracting a lot of fingerprints and you can yeah. really see that <laughs> so if you don't enjoy that then uh we would say go with the white Oh. Definitely shows less fingerprints. Okay, interesting. And the buds themselves are IPX5, yeah. meaning great for workouts in the rain, whatever, but... Uh, and the Chungus case is no IP rating. No, <laughs> at least. Yeah, I don't think we can expect too much from that case, but <laughs> uh, it does have a lot of battery. So I guess that's where it's uh, put yeah. into. Yeah. Moving on to controls. Yeah, I think... You love, love the control, yeah, you told me. Yeah, I do, because uh, we very often do not see buttons yeah. on buds like these. It's yeah. always touch. You get a button on both of the buds, no touch, of course, and what they do is the long press on those buds is volume control, so yeah. right one for volume up, left one for volume down, and that's actually the only gesture you can configure in the app. Yeah, so this is the app, and if you scroll down to gestures, you can see here that yeah, the long press is the only one that's configurable. The others are grayed out and you can change it to either volume control or mute or voice assistant. Yeah. yeah. And you do get a single pr press for play, pause and answer hang up. And you've got a double press for track control and rejecting an incoming call. Yeah. And a triple press if you want to go to the previous track. I must say, I love the control out of the box. Volume change is there, right. media control yeah. is there. Of course, there's no, no noise cancelling on these. So Obviously. You yeah. don't need to do that. No. But. And what I really liked about these uh, buttons was that you could actually use them to turn them off and back on again that's and an put open, them into pairing mode. That's an open rock thing, right? They all yeah. started on the previous ones. Because their previous cases have always been big, yeah. let's be honest. Yes, that's true. Right? Let's get some cases out. Yeah. yeah. It was the Open Rock S, and then we had the Open Rock Pro as well. And yeah, the, these are not exactly very portable, yeah. but they did come with a lot of battery life. And so, yeah, they kind of continued that theme of not portable cases with this one. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, they also continued with the fact that you can just take the buds with you. Yeah. You can power them off using the buds. You can power them back on. You can put them into pairing mode. 
So really, you're not forced to take the charging case with you as you are with a lot of other bikes. And especially, I think, if you're going out on the run, you know, yeah. like maybe if you're going to work because you yeah. do need to put them back somewhere. If you're just going on the run, you can turn them off if you don't want them. It's exactly. still on your ear. Yeah. Pretty comfortable. Yeah. And well, speaking of... <laughs> well, on comfort. These are hook style buds, of course, uh, as you guys have seen in uh, the shots we've shown you so far. Uh, they can move in two directions. So yeah, there's this kind of one direction, which is up and down in this shot. And then there is inward and outward, let's say. So that's the second direction you can move in. And this is absolutely original and it's not been copied <coughs> from any other brand. So yep, excellent. But hey, it works well. Yeah. But was it comfortable for you though? Yeah, it is comfortable, but sometimes when you, like I really want to align it because the problem with open earbuds and we'll talk about sound a bit is if they're even slightly misaligned, uh -huh. the sound changes completely. So I was really tightening the heck out of it. Yeah. And after a while I noticed it really hurt me, but that was not your experience. No, because I was wearing them at home uh, on a walk, even while I came here. Yeah. Actually, I have them on my ear. <laughs> I don't even realize that's how comfortable they are. Okay. Um, and what's nice is that you can, um, as you put them onto your ear, you can just push down like this and it kind of hooks and clamps in. So it really isn't going anywhere. So it's staying in place. Yeah. And just on the kind of comfort uh, theme, and you mentioned running, actually having buttons is super convenient for a run or any kind of exercise because you don't want to be fumbling around with touch. So yeah. Adding buttons on open earbuds, please do more of that. <laughs> yeah. So before we listen to how these sound for phone calls, yeah. let's um, talk about Fakman controls. Yes. So what you can do is you can actually uh, change volume. They work for audio as well as for calls. Yeah. And they can mute, but you have to sacrifice that volume. And as yeah. we showed just now, you have uh, in the app, you have the option to change the long press and you can then select microphone on or off and it works. It is an on device mute though. Yeah. 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 And the funny thing was you changed it on the left bud. It worked. Muting worked on the left bud. Yeah. I guess the right bud still works with volume. Yes. So is. you can choose maybe just the volume reduction one and mute it. Mute yeah. On the right. For example. Yeah. That might be a solution. Yeah. Bit weird, but that's what it is. Yep. All right. And if you are ready, take a look. I will take a listen to our popsicles. Icicles. And test. All right, this is a mic test on the OpenRob X by One Audio with cars in the background and a little bit of rain. So at least you can now hear in relatively quiet environments how these earbuds sound. There are more cars coming. Here we go, pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, 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 pickle, high size, high pickle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. All right, this is the One Audio Open Rock X in reasonably windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, high size, high pickle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, high size, high pickle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. I'm going to bike a little bit faster, see if I can generate some more width for you guys. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three, and now softly, pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. All right, so the app has a bunch of extra, and this is the first time that One Audio has an app. It's called the One, the Open Rock. Yeah, that's what it's called, the Open Rock. And as you can see here on screen, you get a max volume limiter, which is pretty cool if you actually click into it. There is three levels of max volume from 80 right up to, I think, 92 decibels. Yeah, that you can configure. That's good for your hearing. And we wish every app does this for sound. Uh, very nice one to have. There's an overtime wear reminder, which is if you hit I, you can see what it does. When the set time is reached, voice reminder, take a rest. Oh, yeah. So even if you're not listening, I guess just for your ear, for fatigue, it's keeping that. It's nice that it's uh, they bothered to do all this. Then there's uh, just a configuration for long press, which we just showed with the mute and the other things. Um, that's the only thing, as we said, you can customize. Then there's a sound balance, left, right balance, you know, nothing or chattering there. And there is an auto power off setting. That's not all the extras though, Kevin. No, you get a couple of others, which are pretty basic. You can change the language of the voice prompts. 
but only between Chinese or English. So you get that. Uh, also the volume of those voice prompts, but unfortunately you can't turn them off. So if you're annoyed with voice prompts and you just want beeps, yeah. you, you can't do that here. They're so. not super annoying voice prompts, at least in English. No, they're not actually. So it's yeah, all right. They're yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, you also get Find My Buds, which is not really a GPS Find My Buds, no. but it's a, it plays a tune on the buds. Yeah. Uh, they do say, oh, it's super loud, but I tried it out. It wasn't very loud. No. So okay. it's really buried away somewhere. It might be hard to find, but, uh, but yeah, at least you have it. And of course, a former update. And the last extra, which is not really an extra, I think we think it's important, is multipoint. Yeah. So I have paired this with my iPhone 15 and my Z Fold 5. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't great, I must mm. say. At least when it was playing music on Z Fold 5, and man, music sounds good, but we'll come to that in a bit. <laughs> um, and when I switched to iPhone, it sounded like it was playing the A2DP profile or the hands free profile, which mm. is the sound you hear for you know, phone calls, really low quality. Mm. And I couldn't get it to change. Uh, I tried all of yesterday and it didn't really work. So maybe I need to restart my iPhone. It could be an iPhone thing. Uh, it did play audio. So multipoint worked, but it just sounded a bit weird on the iPhone. So okay. more maybe to be revealed there, but you didn't have that issue at all. No, I mean, uh, in the time that I've used it, it was, uh, it was fine. But what I would say is that there's no pull connect. So if you've paired it to a previous device, you can't just select it from the Bluetooth list and then pull the connection over. Yeah. You have to put them back into pairing mode. And there's also no device list in the app. Okay. No? Yeah. That's all on the extras. Well, right? No, a couple of things. There's one more. Yeah. I mean, that's again, another thing that we don't generally see on open ears, which is a bit weird. I don't know why, but uh, removing an earbud doesn't automatically pause your music. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have a wear sensor, but yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get into sound, shall we? Yeah, shall we? <laughs> oh, we shall. <laughs> we shall. We shall. <laughs> the codecs that these support are AAC and SPC. Very happy with that. We don't want fancy codecs <laughs> on products like this. Keep it simple. And uh, these got bass. That bass. It's oh. got some serious bass. Yeah. But uh, in terms of sound, you might have some struggle because these are open ears, and depending on the position on your ear, etc., yeah. they will sound different. Uh, especially consistency with the bass. Oh yeah, bass. Did we say bass? That bass. That bass. <laughs> yeah, it has. So, yeah. It a has. Fourteen point two millimeter dynamic driver. Big driver, big bass. That's the logic. Okay. Um, and in the app, you get three EQ presets. So I can show you that. So you've got the rock mode. <laughs> the rock. Uh, you've got relax mode, and you've got boom mode, and you've got a custom EQ as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll just come out and say it. I think these sound fantastic for open earbuds. Like the stock signature, the default one is rock, what he just showed. Mm -hmm. um, and tons of bass. I did not expect it on a product like this. You know, I tested our favorite bass testing song, the Hollow 16-bit remix from Bjork. But yeah, there I think that's where I realized, okay, sub, sub bass notes are missing. Mm. You kind of hear it in the background, but there's definitely no impact on sub bass. But still, the rock preset might just be one of my favorite presets on any open ears for rock and metal music. They really lived up to their name, okay. calling it the rock preset. Um, the mids are a bit recessed, yes, and you know, the, but the treble is not harsh. It's it's uh, it's a bit more relaxed in that setting. You can go to a more V-shaped profile, the boom mode, which does a pretty good job. Okay. Uh, more treble, more bass, but a bit too shrill for my liking. Really testing the limits of these drivers, I think. And then the relax mode, it's, you know, just a bit of a treble boost as the picture kind of implies here. Um, but if you don't like the presets, there is a seven band simple EQ in the app. Um, and you can change it. To be honest, I struggled a little bit with kind of getting the best sound. I would probably I like the overdone bass, but the treble kind of suffers when you move it up like this. And uh, Kevin is moving some random sliders there. But <laughs> you <laughs> get the idea. Having some fun. <laughs> and then there's a spatial audio as well. It's just a kind of a simulation. Uh, it's not some fancy Dolby thing. But I like it on this one because since open ear buds are naturally wider sounding, they're farther away from your ear. Um, yeah, I like it. And anyway, I would not be using this product for serious listening. So I enjoyed listening to music on spatial with this one. Would you say these are your favorite open ear buds for music? 
It's really hard to say, right? But uh, I think for rock, yes, yeah. I can clearly say that, that for bass. rock, uh, that, no, that bass and also it's like it's very natural sounding. It's nice. not it's not very artificially boosted or okay, you know, cheap sounding. So yeah. that's, that's nice. Cool. But but let's get down to it. Let's get down to the butts. Are we going to buy these or not? Coming right up. All right, guys. Before we proceed, though. We have to thank our sponsor of this video, and that is Shox. They make some great open ear buds as well, like the Open Fit and the Open Fit Air, which are great alternatives if you're looking for open ears. So thank you, Shox, for sponsoring this video, and please support the people who are supporting us. Okay. Now, moving to reasons to buy. My personal reasons to buy the Open Rock X would be the sound because yeah. it's very bassy and when you're out and about you want that bass yes absolutely. you want to be able to hear it uh to the design the case is kind of cool yeah but it's not portable <laughs> but it's cool <laughs> yeah. to play around with it's kind of a fidget spinner kind of or a fidget object rather yeah um and i really like the way the buds are shaped with the hinge mechanism because i can really lock it in yeah. So I can put it over my ears very quickly and easily and I can just pinch to kind of lock them in place yeah. and they stay and they're comfortable for me. Also buttons. When you're out on a run, you don't want to be fumbling with touch and these have buttons. So One of the few open ears that have buttons. One of the Excellent. few. And finally battery life. 10 hours in our testing, plenty. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. And there are of course some reasons not to buy this. I think the number one reason is the price. Guys, $179. All right, it shows 160 on the website, on the on Amazon it showed 170, but still in this price range for open ear buds, you really have to want open ear buds. Uh, it's, it's hard to, for me, to spend more than $100 on open ear buds. Um, and they should really bring something special. I think Open Rock does that. It does bring something special to the sound. But still, it's a bit hard uh, pill to swallow, let's say. The bulky case. Oh my God, this case, we we love hate it, right? It's 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 yep. bulky. It's stylish. It's not pocketable. It looks cool. Um, so that's something I think for me the number one thing in open earbuds or anything I'm going to take around is portability yep. and fails on that no matter how cool it looks. Yeah. Um, and other than that, yeah, I think. There's not much reason not to buy it other than those three reasons, right? Bit of a wonky multi-point situation that you faced, yeah. but again, that may differ. Anything else? Any other reasons not to buy these? Yes, there's one reason, which is to thank our lovely <laughs> patrons and YouTube members. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you for supporting us. These are our tested tier members, but all of you who watch and subscribe, Truly, truly appreciate you and... And a little bit of extra appreciation, of course, goes out to our Falkman tier members and patrons, Paula and Game. Gamer Panda? Gamer Panda. Yeah. Gamer Panda. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been rocking with your ex in the open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've been DHRME. Do we?